Well, music has the power to evoke emotions, thanks to our brain's complex wiring. It can transport us to moments of joy, sadness, and yes, even solitude. While it's often used as a tool for relaxation, music also has a strong social component. In a crowd, a shared melody can create a sense of unity. But in isolation, the same melody might highlight the absence of companionship. In our hyper-connected world, we're paradoxically finding ourselves more alone than ever. And with a playlist just a click away, it's easy to fall into the trap of using music as a substitute for genuine human interaction. Music can be a double-edged sword. It's therapeutic, yes, but it also has the potential to reinforce our solitude. It's important to balance personal time with music and social activities. So, how do we find this balance? It's about intentionality. Schedule time for social interactions, even if it's a virtual hangout or a phone call. Use music as a bridge to connect with others, not just a barrier to keep them out. Remember, solitude can be a gift, a moment to recharge and reflect. But don't let it become a wall. Share your favorite tunes, create new memories with friends, and let music be a tool that brings people together, not apart. Next time you press play on that relaxing track, ask yourself, is this solitude by choice or am I masking my need for connection? Let music be your companion, but not your only one. Share your thoughts on the solitude paradox in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.